Hi everyone, welcome to week six. For week six, we're going to look at the impact in various economic trends and looking at the standard of living. When we look at the standard of living, we're going to focus on the unemployment and inflation rate in our economy. The key thing that we focus on that all of you should know that really affects you is the CPI. The CPI is the consumer price index that looks at fluctuations in prices in our economy. So when we look at this week, we have some various tasks. If you click on the objective tab, this is going to give you the key terminal course objectives that you need to focus on because this is how they pull your final exam. Now when you click on the assignment tab, the assignment tab will include what we're reviewing this week. We're reading chapter 15 and chapter 16. You have the My Econ Lab activities. You have the week six homework in My Econ Lab. Make sure to review the settings. And you also have the My, the My Econ Lab quiz as well. Now, I've created this lection for, lecture for you. And I've also created this iConnect Live lecture for you as well. So you have two different ways to connect with the material and understand it a little bit better. Let's click on the discussion board real quick. Now, when we click on the discussion board, we're looking at what factors are considered in calculation of the unemployment rate. So the unemployment rate is focused on how many unemployed workers are there out of the labor force? The key to this question is you need to focus on the amount of workers that are not working compared to the labor force. And the labor force includes anyone that's working or looking for a job. In your uh, discussion board work, make sure to focus on having your first post by Wednesday, two peer responses, which can be to any of the questions I ask, and the use of AP formatted in-text citation and reference. Then on the inflation one discussion form, the same applies there. What factors are considered in the calculation of the CPI? The CPI calculates the role of inflation. There are some things that the CPI doesn't do a good job of tracking. That's where that answer is focusing on. And that's where you should focus some of your efforts in your work as well. So what are some of the key things in the CPI that it might not include, but it influences the level of inflation? So those are the topics we're going to be focused on this week. If you have any questions, let me know, but I look forward to your efforts.